Kenya imejiunga na ulimwengu kuadhimisha siku ya figo ulimwenguni. Nchini Kenya takriban watu milioni tano wanaugua ugonjwa sugu wa figo. Many of our people are going into renal failure because of those over the counter medications. Avoid herbal medicines as well because those have been known to cause kidney disease. Takriban wagonjwa 1012 wa figo wanapaswa kupata huduma ya usafishaji damu nchini. Hata hivyo, kulingana na bima ya taifa ya afya, kati ya wagonjwa 400 na 600 pekee ndio wanaosafishwa damu kila mwaka. Muungano wa wanaogua magonjwa ya figo umehusisha hili na ugonjwa wa kuchelewa kutambuliwa, imani potovu za jamii na gharama ya matibabu. When you living with a transplant, you, you procure medicines before food. Ndiyo sababu ya wengi kuchagua kusafishwa damu na sio kupandikizwa kwani bima ya taifa ya afya inagharamia matibabu hayo na sio gharama ya upandikizaji. Why would I pay $400 a month after transplant when NHIF is paying fully for my dialysis? That's a question that I get a lot from my patients. Takriban wa Kenya 200 wanapandikizwa figo kila mwaka. The price of some of the drugs we take uh, and that is those living with a transplant like myself has doubled in the last three months wakati huo huo inaonekana kuwa utambuzi wa magonjwa ya figo miongoni mwa watoto unawatatiza wataalamu the first thing that the nurse the clinical officer because they are the gate openers will think about they will think about pneumonia and they will think about malnutrition figo inapokumbwa na matatizo shughuli kama vile utengenezaji wa chembe hai nyekundu udumishaji wa afya ya mifupa na udhibiti wa shinikizo la damu mwilini hutatizika. Na hivyo, ni muhimu wa Kenya kupimwa mara kwa mara ili kujua hali zao mapema. Ben Kerera K24 Nairobi